Hi everyone! Today we're going to read a new story. The title of our story is Mr. Putter and Tabby Fly the Plane. It's written by Cynthia Ryland and it's illustrated by Arthur Howard. Let's start. Chapter 1 Toys Mr. Putter loved toys. He was old and he knew that he wasn't supposed to love toys anymore. But he did. When Mr. Putter and his fine cat, Tabby, drove into town, they always stopped at the toy store. Tabby was not happy at the toy store. She was old too. And her nerves weren't as good as they used to be. The wind-ups made her twitch. The pop-ups made her jump. And anything that flew gave her the hiccups. But Tammy loved Mr. Putter. So she put up with all of it. While she twitched and jumped and hiccuped, Mr. Putter played with everything. He played with the dump trucks. He played with the cranes. He played with the bear on the flying trapeze. But most of all, he played with the planes. Ever since he was a boy, Mr. Putter had loved planes. When he was young, he had covered his whole room with them. Biplanes were his favorite. But he also loved monoplanes and seaplanes and shiny ace junkers. He thought he might really fly a plane one day. But he never did. So now, he just looked at toy planes every chance he got. One day, when Mr. Putter and Tabby were in the toy store, and Tabby was hissing at a wind-up penguin, Mr. Putter spotted a plane he had never seen before. It was white and red, with two wings on each side, and a little flag on its tail. It was the most beautiful biplane he had ever seen. And it had a radio control. So, a person might really fly it. Mr. Putter was in love. He bought the little plane and put it in the car with Tabby. He told her not to worry. He promised her a nice cup of tea with lots of cream and a warm English muffin. But still, she hiccuped all the way home. 